Hey guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to become a pro trader, this video will cover fruit demands, fruit values, how to avoid scams, and much more, so make sure to watch the video till the end, anyway, let's start. Alright so if you want to be a pro trader, you first need to understand the value of fruits, if you don't know the value of fruits or game passes, many people will try to take advantage of you in order to get overpays, or for them to underpay, that may sound immoral, but that's just the reality. Let's say your dream fruit is Kitsune, which is usually the case for most players, and you offer a leopard and dragon, you'd probably think it's a fair trade, as Kitsune's value is 8 million, and you're offering 8,500,000, which you'd think is fair, right? The value of dragon is getting higher each day, as once the dragon update drops, the value will be higher than Kitsune, you can do only dragon and you'll still easily be able to trade it for a kitsune. Also, if you don't know value, you can always use a website like 123 Demands or just ask on the Blocks Fruits Discord if the trade is a WRL. If you know the value and they still try to make you overpay, just find a new trade. The other person clearly just wants to make huge profits. And yeah, make sure to learn the value of fruits before trading. Alright so fruit demands is one of the key points to what determines the value of a fruit, if a fruit has low demand, the value is also low. Fruits or reworked fruits that just came out almost always have a huge increase in demand and value until all the hype has died down, and then the demand stabilizes, giving the value of the fruit. Take a fruit like Mammoth for example, everyone was insanely overpaying for it for the first few days of the update. But now, you wouldn't be able to trade it for a dragon unless you added like 2-3 to three more Mammoths. A trade like this is a loss for me, even though pain is more expensive in blocks fruits, it is almost no demand as the fruit is pretty trash yet it somehow costs 2.3 million. Rumble however, has much more demand and value than paw, despite it costing less, as rumble is great for pvp, if you know the demands of fruits, you can actually take advantage of it. I don't think it's a surprise that next update dragon will be getting reworked, and leaks are saying it'll cost 5000 robux or 10 million money to be purchased. This means it'll be the most valuable fruit in the game, and people are already taking advantage of this. One of my friends for instance has 64 dragon fruits, like Pro is all set for the next 10 updates or something. The reason he's stacking up on dragons is because the value of dragon hasn't reached its true peak yet, as the update still isn't out. But once the update finally drops, the value and demand of dragon will increase even more, so my friend will make huge profits, so yeah. Make sure you know the demand of fruits as you can take advantage of it and make huge profits. Trading servers are very useful, especially when you want to find great deals and trades fast. Public servers are much more time consuming to find trades, as you have to keep rejoining servers till you find a good trade. But for Discord trading servers, you can just send your trade offer and wait for replies without much work. The best server to find trades is the official Blocks Fruits Discord server, discord.gg slash blocksfruits. You can also find overpays and be able to underpay slash flip fruits for your trade much easier on a Discord trading server. However, if you don't have Discord, you'll just have to find trades in public servers, which will be a bit harder. Alright so when trading fruits, you might get scammed, especially when trading game passes or permanent fruits. So I'll be telling you how to avoid scams and scammers. Alright so the first scam is the multi-trade scam, which is where people offer more than 4 items for a trade. And since the max amount of items you can put in a trade is 4, this means you'll have to do 2 or more trades to complete their offer. So basically let's say you're trading a permanent kitsune which is worth around 4 plus physical kitsunes, or 5 plus of other fruits and someone is offering you like 14 leopards for your permanent kitsune, which seems good, right? Well yeah, it's a pretty fair trade slash small w for you. But the only thing is it'll take a whopping 5 trades to complete the transaction. But since you'll be giving him the permanent kitsune and trade 1, the scammer can just leave afterwards and save 10 leopards. You can counter this scam by getting a middleman, or only giving the permanent fruit or game pass on the final trade, but then the other person won't trust you and think you might scam him. The next scam is the link scam, and this applies to basically every Roblox game that has a trading system, not just Blocks Fruits. The link scam sends you a private server or Roblox profile, or other types of phishing links, which steals your data and allows them to log into your account. An example of a Roblox phishing link would be something like this, where they tell you to add them and stuff. It's a fake link because Roblox is spelt wrong meaning it's a fake link and will steal your data. Now not every link is a scam obviously. Just look for unusual elements in the URL. 
And yeah, those are all the scams you should worry about. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Anyway, bye.